While there is software that you could pay for like Snagit from TechSmith that can capture entire web pages in your web browser or open windows on your computer, why pay when you can do it for free? I'll show you the tools built into web browsers to capture a full page along with a cool program that can take a scrolling capture of an entire page in programs like Microsoft Word, Excel, and many others. Let's dive in. We'll start with the web browsers that make it easy with built-in tools to capture a full web page. In Mozilla's Firefox, to take a screenshot of the entire page, just right-click anywhere on the page. In the menu that opens, select Take Screenshot. Doing this gives you the choice to drag and click an area of the page to capture a region. In the upper right, you also have the choice to capture only what is visible on your screen and to save the full page. Doing so will open a new window that will let you copy and paste it wherever you want it, and selecting Download will save it to your computer as a PNG file. Microsoft Edge has a pretty cool screen capture tool built in. Just like Firefox, you could just right click anywhere on the page to take a screenshot. You would just need to select Screenshot from the menu. Your choices are Capture Area and Capture Full Page. An alternative way of doing this in Edge is to select the screenshot icon located on the right side of the toolbar. All right, let's capture a full page. A new window will open with tools to draw on the page and erase. You can also share your screenshot with others, copy it to paste it where you want, and save it to your computer. This will save it to your computer as a JPEG file. Then there's Vivaldi, the ultimate productivity browser I've mentioned quite a bit. And of course, they have a screen capture tool as well. On here, click their capture icon located in the toolbar here at the bottom of the window. This will let you select an area that you'd like to capture, and you can take a screenshot of an entire web page. So select Full Page, then select how you'd like to output it. Your choices are Save as PNG, Save as JPEG, Copy to Clipboard, and you can create a note with the Notes feature in Vivaldi. I'll go with Save as JPEG. After you've made your choices, select Capture. This will save it to your Downloads folder. To set a location for your downloads, including screen captures, select the Vivaldi menu icon here in the upper left and select Settings. From here in the left pane, go to Downloads, and then select the folder where you want your screenshots saved to. Then there's Google Chrome, which surprisingly still does not have a built-in screenshot tool, with the exception of the developer tool, which is cumbersome to use, so we'll skip that one. The first of two methods to save a screenshot in Chrome is to save it as a PDF. Go to the menu icon in the upper right and select Print. For the destination, select Save as PDF. Then click on Save. When you open the PDF, you may find that sometimes, saving as a PDF, there could be formatting issues where things may not look like they did on the actual web page. If you want to save a full web page as a JPEG or PNG file in Chrome or any other Chromium-based browser, the easiest way to do it is with the Go Full Page Chrome extension. It's a great extension with more than 8 million users and a 4.9 out of 5 rating. Here's how it works. To save an entire web page, Click the Go Full Page extension icon in the toolbar. Then wait for it to finish. Because this web page was really long, you'll notice it split it into two images. But on normal web pages, it'll just be one image. When it's done, clicking the Edit button lets you choose which image you'd like to edit. You can add shapes and stickers. In formatting, you can crop an image and add a border. In addition to saving as a PDF, you can also download it to your computer in a JPEG or PNG format. To change the settings, click the Options button. A couple settings you might want to change include the image format, PNG and JPEG are the two options here. And down below in the Downloads section, if you don't want all your screenshots going to the Downloads folder, I would suggest checking the box next to Save As to have it ask each time where you want your screenshot saved to. 
If you want a free and open source program that offers tons of screenshot options, like the paid for Snagit I mentioned earlier, ShareX is what I recommend. In addition to the numerous ways to capture what is on your screen, it also includes a built-in screen recorder and various annotation tools. This program not only takes full screen captures of web pages, it can also capture an entire Word document, Excel spreadsheet, or almost any other program that requires you to scroll. In this example, we'll use a Word document to do a scrolling capture with the text in a video I created recently. In ShareX, go to Capture in the left pane, then select Scrolling Capture. You'll now want to click into the body of the program to begin capturing. A new window will open, saving the entire page. From here, you can upload it or save it to your computer. I'm going to zoom in on this here. I know this may be difficult to see because I'm using a 4K monitor. The toolbar at the top lets you save your capture to your computer, copy to save it to your clipboard to paste it wherever you want it, and there's a bunch of annotation tools for you to play around with along with other stuff. Thanks for watching. If this video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. If you know of any methods to capture a full page not mentioned, let us know about them in the comments. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and click the bell to not miss out on our latest tutorials and other tech-related stuff.